Moving on now, more than 147 indigenous tree species in Kenya are on the brink of extinction due to the combined pressures of climate change and human activities. This is according to the Botanic Gardens Conservation International report, which also listed Kilifi County among the forest red zones facing the potential loss of dozens of these critical species. Levis Musumba reports from Kilifi. Forest is life because that is where now we can get rains. The once vibrant forests are now grappling with a silent crisis. We have about 147 threatened trees in Kenya, and this um, a lot of these species are occurring in the coastal belt of Kilifi. A lot of um, forest land is shrinking because of uh, pressures of climate change and also uh, anthropogenic pressures. These trees rooted in our heritage are disappearing before our eyes due to deforestation, land mismanagement, and the relentless impact of climate change. People are converting idle land to maybe settlements, to maybe any development, because they see these places as idle places. Some of our ecosystems are already showing that they are becoming more and more vulnerable to climate change. Like the Brastisha species, especially those that are located within the the, the limit of their range around Akacha, you find that most of them are succumbing to some of these issues. In response to this looming crisis, the Cliffy County government, in collaboration with the Botanic Gardens Conservation International, convened a two-day stakeholders forum. The objective was to assess and enact forestry management policies capable of enduring the challenges presented by climate change. In the department, we're in the process of uh, amending and reviewing all our policies, act and regulation for, final, for operationalizing them. And uh, that is actually why we are here. We have emerging issues, for example, the issues of climate change, which were not mentioned in the, in the earlier documents, which we have no excuse not to include them in this, uh, in this uh, amendment. Coming here and, of course, discussing matters of forest in terms of policy formulation to us is something that is really uh, uh, gives us the ability to share what we feel is right in terms of forest management. As a department, we are working very closely with our stakeholders of the community and also we are aligning ourselves with the national agenda of 15 billion trees. The forum highlighted the pressing need of engaging all stakeholders and aligning government laws to ensure effective forest conservation. We want to create a community forest associations that will be mandated to take care of that uh, uh, forest. The communities are, uh, are at the center of conservation and we need to have them engaged from the beginning to the end to make sure, for one, they benefit out of these forest resources sustainably. Secondly, they will be in the forefront to protect. Kenya has set ambitious targets to plant 15 billion trees by 2030, aiming for a sustainable environment. However, scientists caution that the species chosen for planting must align with the changing climate to ensure their survival. Plants or trees that are being planted, they are mostly um, exotic trees. The people don't really take into consideration the purpose of the tree or where they are planting the trees. The tree being planted in the right place, they don't take a lot of consideration when it comes to biodiversity and the importance of biodiversity to, um, to landscapes. Gazetting community forest into legally protected forests within the county is a big step that we need to do. And uh, before that, then we leave this community forest or this community land exposed to any developer who can uh, use any, any means to, 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 to encroach and develop those areas. We are going to do our best uh, to make sure that uh, His Excellency Governor Munaro's uh, government will consider and also make forestry as one of the priorities. As Kenya charts its path towards environmental sustainability, the call to action resonates louder than ever. It is a race against time to protect our forests, preserve biodiversity, and safeguard the delicate balance of nature. For KTN News, I'm Levis Musumba. Well, let's retake that story where a police